Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Oliver Twist was born in the 1830s, England. His mother, whose name no one knew, died just after Oliver's birth. Oliver spent the first nine years of his life in a badly run home for young orphans and was then transferred to a workhouse. Life in the workhouse was tough, but the worst thing of all was the lack of food. For meal times, the children were given one ladle of grey, watery gruel. One evening, the boys bullied Oliver to ask him for more food. Please, sir, I want some more. More? Mr Bundle, the head of the parish, offered five pounds to anyone to take the boy away from the workhouse. Oliver narrowly escaped working for a cruel chimney sweep. And was instead apprenticed to a local undertaker, Mr Sowerbury. When the undertaker's other apprentice, Noah Claypole, made horrible comments about Oliver's mother, Oliver attacked him. Oh, help! It wasn't me, sir! He attacked me first! Oliver was punished by Mr Sowerbury. Desperate, Oliver ran away and travelled to London. There on the streets, Oliver, starved and exhausted, sank to the ground. Oliver heard a voice ask, Got lodgings? Something to eat? Money? The daughter looked about the same age as Oliver. Awful that is my name. Come with me, mate. Oliver followed Dodger through the narrow and muddy streets until they reached Fagin's house. Who's this then? Fagin, this is Oliver Twist. You like it, yeah. <laughs> Fagin was an old thief who trained orphan boys to pickpocket for him. After a few days of training, Oliver was sent on a pickpocketing mission with two other boys when he saw them swipe a handkerchief from an elderly gentleman. Oliver was horrified and ran off. He was caught but escaped being convicted of the theft. Wait, don't hurt him! Mr Brownlow, the man whose handkerchief was stolen, took pity on the feverish Oliver and took him to his home and nursed him back to health. We need to find that boy before he snitches on us. A few weeks later, when Oliver was running errands for Mr Brownlow to buy some books from the bookshop, two of Fagin's gang, Bill Sykes and Nancy, spotted him. Bill grabbed him and returned him to Fagin. Please return Mr Brownlow's books and money or he will think I stole them. <laughs> We can sell these. Fagin kept Oliver locked up alone for days and he became very ill. Nancy felt sorry for Oliver and secretly returned the books and money back to Mr. Brownwell. Later, Sykes forced Oliver to help him burgle a house. And Oliver was shot by a servant. The owner of the house, Mrs. Maylie, and her niece Rose looked after Oliver as he was recovering. Sykes accused Nancy of betraying him and Fagin and attacked her. When the police found out, they chased Sykes onto the roof of a tall warehouse where he slipped and fell to his death. Fagin was arrested and punished for his crimes. Oliver was reunited with Mr Brownlow and they and Mrs Maylie and Rose all moved to a beautiful large house in the countryside. Mm -hmm.